cut my hair, dyed it purple. Yep. Yeah. And it's not just because I'm ARMY. I have always loved the color purple. It just kind of works out. And now my hair is purple too. Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and I am here for my final installment of my BTS Festa Celebration videos. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about why I am an ARMY and why I am proud to be an ARMY. I love BTS and I've loved them for years, but how long I've loved them doesn't matter because how many years I've loved them for is the same as somebody else who may have just found them a few weeks ago. As long as you love BTS and you care about their well-being and want to help BTS out in the best way possible, then you're an ARMY and it doesn't matter if you've been there since day one or came along anywhere along the line. Same thing goes for the fact that, hey, I collect their stuff and I own a bunch of their stuff, but that doesn't make me any better or less of an ARMY than somebody who can't collect their stuff or just doesn't have an interest of doing it. You're still an ARMY. I'm still an ARMY. We're all armies. The same thing goes for going to shows, and I've been to a bunch. I'm not even going to say it now, but not everybody is so lucky. I'm lucky. I live in the U.S., and I've been really blessed that they come here relatively regularly, and I've been able to afford going to shows. But there are people who can't, or they don't come anywhere close to them, and it doesn't make them any less of an army just because they don't have an opportunity to see them. If BTS stayed in Korea all the time, which when I first started getting into them, most of their time was still spent mainly in Korea, and they weren't coming here as much, although they were starting to more and more. I couldn't go to Korea, but did that make me any less of an army just because I couldn't and I still can't really go all the way out to Seoul or Busan or anywhere that BTS is doing some sort of event in Korea and see them? No, it doesn't because I'm an army no matter what. I'm an army despite all of the hate that comes unjustly towards us. I'm an army despite all of the people that claim to be army that really are not putting BTS and their fellow army first like they should be. And there are those people. There are people that don't have manners and etiquette that need to be educated and informed and realize that while we love BTS and we adore BTS and we want to see BTS succeed, that doesn't mean that you should ever put down any other group because every other group has worked for what they've done and their fans have worked to help them get there. and. We as ARMY should be respecting every other fandom just like we respect our own. We love BTS. Not everybody loves BTS and there's no problem with that. Our focus should be on positivity and uplifting the boys. And if something does happen, which sometimes they do, we need to respond in a reasonable, rational way. And for the most part, most armies do this. It's just a select few. And when I say a select few, since the fandom is so large now, that does actually include a large number of people. But in the grand scheme of thing, it's a small percentage of how many army are actually behaving that way. And we as armies, we need to make sure that we take care of our own and we make sure that our own are not getting out of line. But at the end of the day, while I love ARMY and I've loved to see all of the beautiful things that they've done for BTS and for their various communities in the name of BTS, and even for the camaraderie and meeting new BTS fans and making friends, at the end of the day, the true reason why I am an ARMY and why anybody else is an ARMY is because I love BTS. BTS inspires me. They make me want to do more. They make me want to be better. 
Each day I wake up and I think about these guys and how hard they're working to achieve what they have and for me to consume and enjoy the things that they create. They've worked so hard for that. And I wish that I, as an army, can do everything I can to show my love, to show my support, but not even just that, but to try to reach levels and goals that BTS would be proud of me for. I don't want to just sit back and just skate by my life, enjoying and listening to their music, praising BTS, and just going through the day by day. BTS makes me want to be better and accomplish more things. And hopefully I'll be able to do that. I have some things in the works, but we'll see how they go. But no matter what, it is BTS that is driving me and inspiring me to keep going and reach those bigger dreams. And I'm not gonna lie, maybe it's partially because maybe I realize that if I can do something and be as great, or even just a fraction of how great even just one of the seven are, then maybe I might stand my chance to get my lifelong dream to sit down across a table from the guys and just ask them some questions and get to understand the way that they think and work a little bit more. But if I'm gonna do that or even try, I need to be great. And even if I can't do that, I'm gonna try to be great. So that way I can be a great and make my own mark in the name of BTS. I'm an army. I love BTS. I want them to succeed. And I hope that they want us to succeed just as much as I want them to. And that is why I'm proud of being an army. It's a whole package. Everything rolled up into one and breaking it down into one little thing just doesn't accurately summarize it. But I'm proud. Yeah, there are some moments I get frustrated, but I'm proud and I love BTS. Bye.